Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Olivier Anonima. Today I'm gonna unbox the Gimbal DDI OM4 SE. Let's get right into it. The grip tripod, the magnetic phone clamp, the storage pouch, the power cable, the wrist strap, and the DJI OM4. Here we have a USB port and this is where we put the charger. This one is a razor pad for a small phone. Very interesting. Let's switch it on by pressing the M button here. Press and release. When placing your phone on the magnetic clamp, you have to pay attention that the DJI that you can see here is really on top of, is showing the top of your phone. This is the top of the phone, so DJI on the right, and then you place your phone like that. Because otherwise, images are going to be upside down. See this side here, and you can see kind of a hole here. Then you put your phone like that. Okay. Now, when you switch it on, you can see that your phone now is filming the right way. I just install the GDI. Mimo or Mimo, I don't know. So I'm gonna open it and link the phone. Okay, we like to send a notification. Hello, hello again. Okay. So once it is installed, we have to switch on the Bluetooth and choose the OM4 Bluetooth. Let's pair it. Connected. Good. Now, let me remove the one at the bottom here, just to make it easier for me to show you. So now what we're gonna do, you will have to create an account in order to pair the device on your phone. So once it's done, you should be able to, to use the device. So you have to use the gimbal. Lot of information like the user manual to show you all the information in there. The gimbal is only working with the app, so you cannot use it with the basic photo camera roll of your phone, so you have to open the app in order to use it. So when you want now, actually I'm in video mode, so if I want to switch to photo, I press on the M once and it switch to photo, as you can see. And then I press once again to switch it to video. If I press and hold, it will switch it off. So I won't do that for now. You can see here we have the joystick. If I want to move it around, like let's say on the left, you can see that it moves. On the right, it moves. If I go up, we go up, I go down, we go down. We have the zoom button on the side here.
Now on the back here we have the trigger. If I press twice, it will recenter the gimbal. If I want to lock a subject, what I can do is to press it like that. Design a box on the screen that for the, in the element that I want to track, and I can track it. If I move around, you'll see that it tracked the area that I selected. Now I'm going to move fast the gimbal on the left and you're going to see that it will just go slowly on the left. As you can see, it goes at its own pace, it does not follow my rapid movement. Again, I'm going to the right now. The red button here is the record, so I press it once to record and I can press it once again to stop. Same thing for the photo, so I switch now to photo by pressing once the M button. The red button must be used to record and take photo, you press it once. If I want to switch between landscape and portrait mode, I press the M button twice, and as you can see, now we are in landscape and M twice again and now we are on portrait. Please consider like and subscribe and activate the notification bell for any further video. Thank you for your time and have a nice day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>